all in this video i will talk about brief introduction of uds protocol i will not deep dive into uds introduction as there are many uh, sources uh, you can get uh, online from google or from uh, chat gpt or google bard so here i will be only focusing on diagnostic session control and its uh, sub function types and also how positive and negative response uh, look like or you when you are sending some request so how the actual response positive and negative will look like so let's get started so here what is uds if i uh, UDS, you can, you all know, it, it stands for Uni, Unifo, Unified Diagnostic Service. It is a communication protocol. It is used in automotive ECU, electronic control units, to enable the diagnostics. The most important is diagnostics, firmware updates, routine testing, and more. And more. So, if I uh, talk about uh, uh, real world example, let's say, let's assume uh, your car is a, a patient and uh, mechanic that uh, garage uh, mechanic uh, is a doctor and translator here, here there is one translator uh, which you can assume that that is diagnostic tool so if uh, if i use simpler analogy a doctor diagno a doctor diagnosing a patient with the help of a translator so uh, imagine your car is like a patient who is not feeling well something is wrong and the car that is patient shows symptoms like the uh, check engine light turning on like this this uh, check engine a uh, check engine uh, light is turning on so you take your car uh, you take your car to the uh, you, you take your car to the mechanic who is like the doctor okay now the mechanic uses a special uh, diagnostic tool which acts like a uh, translator between the mechanic that is doctor and the car that is patient okay so now the mechanic mechanic uh, that is doctor uses a diagnostic tool translator to ask the car what's wrong here the mechanic uses the mechanic uses the diagnostic tool to ask the car what's the wrong what's the problem this is where the uds protocol comes in it's the set of questions the translator or diagnostic tool uses to communicate with the patient to that is car so the car responds with specific error codes or data like saying uh, i have a headache or my stomach hurts this error codes help the mechanic understand the, uh, the exact problem now based on the information received the mechanic the mechanic here diagnoses the issues and decides what needs to be fixed like replacing a faulty sensor or adjusting some settings because this because his check engine uh, that is not that that error is showing so after fixing the problem after fixing the uh, problem the mechanic uh, can use the diagnostic tool problem the mechanic can use the diagnostic tool again to ask the car if everything is okay now and the car can confirm if the issue is resolved or not so that is the act how uds uh, works if i take uh, real real world scenarios so the next is uh, uds service id or you can uh, we can also say service uds service uh, service name and service uh, id so service name you can think of like uh, company name and service id uh, we can think like employee id so here in, in this video i am only focusing on this uh, diagnostic session control uh, so there are uh, many service I, service list you can see ECU reset security access test of president communication control so test of president i am not going to cover uh, i have already covered in another video i will provide link of test of president in the description box you can go and watch
but uh, in upcoming video i will explain all this uh, as a service list in uh, this uds series so uh, let's uh, uh, talk about a uh, diagnostic session control so what is a diagnostic se uh, diagnostic session control so if i talk about uh, so if i talk about uh, let's say uh, you uh, let's take example of a doctor and uh, patient so you go to the doctor and telling your initial symptoms like uh, you are not able to breathe uh, you you have cold and fever and uh, that initial symptoms you uh, your uh, you, t you tell to your you are showing your blood report to cleaning staff or any uh, receptionist so then it is not uh, it will not make sense uh, to, uh, write information uh, to showing the that information to them so, so the same way in garage uh, initial set of information the tester tool tester tool means our canoeing tries to read is very basic just like initial symptoms okay so without getting into detailed level uh, with, uh, we are not going into the detailed level of information so that is called a diagnostic uh, default session diagnostics default assistant so uh, here i have only taken a uh, simple one liner uh, one line so here you can say default session on startup is is running to default session so now uh, if i talk about the that the same example if i uh, continue so now uh, uh, you are in a, in a hospital now a receptionist guide you to particular department let's say like uh, heart department or a uh, urine department or okay so any department so that department need a detailed information like ct scan mri uh, report uh, etc so that kind of access or second le level of information to your internal body to get uh, to get the exact uh, <coughs> issue so tester tool does the same from specific issues or multiple issues to get the internal information so that kind of information we can get through extended session so if you want detailed information then use uh, extended diagnostic session here you can see you use it to unlock additional diagnostic info uh, functions now based on the uh, ct uh, mri scan a specialist is called like md doctor so that is similar to programming mode so in garage uh, reading information in default and extended uh, they find uh, they find out that problem in ecu is not hardware problem it is it is the problem in software so we uh, so like to re refresh or reprogram the software we need is program programming session so that is used to upload software so in in so if i talk about in uh, in brief so default session is to get the basic level of information to get the confidential information we use extended session and getting real time access to me, uh, to memory or used to refresh the issue so or or, or refresh or the program or the software we need uh, programming session so that is the diagnostic session control and it is uh, a default session programming sessions and extended diagnostic diagnostic sessions are its are its uh, uh, sub functions so the so the next one is uh, uh, here in i uh, will show you how negative and positive response will look like for diag diagnostic session so the let's say this is the 279 that is message id that uh, that is our uh, message id request id and 278 is our response id like so 271 then 1010 that is our uh, default 1001 that is our default session okay so to just a minute so if uh, if uh, you want to send any any request to 
is used then your then it should be like 279 that your re request id then uh, 10 10 your uh, diagnostic uh, sid and then sub function and also add 2 because we are sending 2 bytes so 1 2 so 2 now the same for the uh, same for will be the same for the response 0 2 so here you can see uh, our uh, i am sending it plus 10 uh, plus 40 is added in your response so my question is why plus 40 uh, is added in positive as a as a positive response so if you know the answer then mention in the comment section why plus 40 is added in positive response code so that is our given and 10 0 1 this is for uh, uh, default session similarly you can do for uh, programming and extended session as well uh, instead of 0 1 you can add uh, 10 uh, 0 2 10 0 3 now if i talk about uh, how negative response uh, look like so you can see this 279 0 2 uh, 0 10 0 3 this that is our extended session and here our response is 278 02 7f10 7f is our negative response that is why uh, it denotes like uh, why it is not getting into extended mode that is represented by 7f so similarly you can uh, get different nrc like service not supported that nrc is value is 11 sub function not supported 12 and incorrect message length that is 13 so uh, so if i talk about uh, so negative response will look like this 7f then sub function that nrc i uh, sorry that uh, here i will show you see here if sid is 15 instead of 10 so uh, by mistake uh, i say i have mentioned 15 instead of 10 so here my negative response will be 278 03 7f 7 is our negative response it is denoting negative response 15 then 11 why 11 service not supported service not supported why because here 15 instead of 10 that is why i am getting this uh, this negative response here 0 3 i have added 1 2 3 because after this uh, there are 3 that's why i have added 0 3 and instead of uh, 0 3 so uh, let's say 279 02 10 06 instead of 0 uh, yeah so 10 06 uh, it is I am sending so how what I will get uh, 278 7f 10 and 12 10 is our uh, service ID and uh, 12 is our uh, NRC sub function not supported here here uh, service not supported this is the service not supported this is i this is if this is correct some function is correct is incorrect and then then it is service not supported and similarly for incorrect message length if i if you are sending so like this you can uh, do with uh, multiple nrcs and check uh, and uh, and check in your uh, issue